Hey guys, so I know I said in my last video that I would do a review of my new setup on my Squishmallows. It's not just a shelf like I said in the video, I was just kind of rushing. But I actually have other stuff that is new, like my net is not messy, my shelf here is not, everything is organized. So, I'm sorry, I just had to fix something. Um, Yeah. I will show you guys that, and I'm also going to add my new Squishmallows to the shelf right now. So, from last video, we had this guy and this guy. These three. So, we're going to add them to my shelf, but first of all, I'll show you what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like right now. We have down here the Halloween Squishmallows from Halloween. We have one big one, just to make it look cool, and then we have the little pumpkin on the top. So, this is the big pumpkin I got from Hallmark. He flips to a pirate but i'm not gonna do that right now because i'll mess up the whole thing and have to refix it then up here we have the christmas shelf i love it i have all of the christmas ones from five below so i love the collection and as you could tell i love these two the most because they're at the top and there's also more in the back but you can't really see it because they're kind of squished back there but that's what i want to fix about it so i'm gonna add my hot cocoa and my new ones but i'm gonna leave them in the box i'm not gonna unbox it because i like it like that so yeah and anyways just to show you guys more um i'll show you the rest of my setup right now the first thing i want to show you guys is my net this is what it looks like neat it used to be super messy and it's way nicer now so we have the keychains in there. I know that unicorn is not a squishmallow, but I like it there because I got it from somebody that I love. So we just keep it there. And then my favorite keychain is that cow, obviously. So then we just have all of my squishmallows here in the net. It looks really organized. My bed is not organized, so I'm not going to show my bed. But um, behind all these squishmallows is other ones. So I put all the ones I really like in the front. So that's what it looks like organized. Next up we have my little Squishville. Um, don't mind the book in the background. I will show you guys that book in a different video. Uh, you can probably tell what it is already from the cover. But anyways, we have the Squishville. I don't have a lot of these. I only have a couple, but I'm hoping I get more for Christmas. That's coming up. And we have a dragon, a butterfly. A zebra, a unicorn with a little dress on, and the frog, which is my favorite. I was so excited when I got the frog. And then we have a little bunny in a dress in a, in a cat car. So these three, the dragon, the zebra, and the butterfly are not Squishville. They are from a different series of small minis. I think they're uh, micro mellows, but it still counts to me as Squishvilles because it's just the tiny ones. So I love having these tiny little babies with me. And there's nothing in that pink container that just came with another one of these squishmallows. And that's this little shelf I have here. So right here we have, don't mind the top, that's other stuff. But we have more squishmallows here. We have the food series. And yes, we have another hot cocoa with snowflakes instead of marshmallows. Um, there's also more foods in the back. But again, I had to squish them together. My room's pretty small. So then we have the fall series. I have the whole fall series as well. There's also more in the back, can't see really. And then down here we just have some that I couldn't make room for. That was a part of the food series, the tuck obviously, and the fox also part of the fall series. I just had no room for that pan, that's why I put it there. And this is just something special to me, so I leave it there. And this is just the Squishmallow shelf here. Then I have one more shelf. Don't mind this mess. Um, we have this. Firstly, here we have my octopus, my avocado sitting in an avocado chair, and then Brooke and Omar. I think his name is Omar. And that's that. Next to my hedgehog's cage, that's why there's water there. Then we have, of course, a hedgehog, because my hedgehog's cage is right here, right there. And then we have um, two really rare ones that I love, Avery the duck and Milo the elephant. And now I will start to fix up my Christmas shelf. So I'm gonna start off by just taking off this whole thing. So let's go right to that. Okay, so now we have an empty shelf, perfect. 
and we just have all of them here. See, I hated that I couldn't see them all. I loved, like, I wanted to see all their faces. It's so adorable. So, um, now we also have a new part of our collection. He's not in the series, but I'm still adding him anyways, because he's Christmas. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to put this guy, um, here in the middle. It's like in the back, kind of. And just push him near the wall, like, like right there. And then, like, surround it. So I'm going to try and surround it and see how that works. Okay, guys, so here's the shelf I literally just finished. And it took me forever because I was trying to figure out how it would balance those three. But I managed to do it, and it looks adorable, and I love it. We obviously have Mrs. Claus and, and Santa here. We have to have it. And then we just have the rest of them, just kind of, you know. I know it looks weird with him on the bottom and him at the top, but that's the only way it would balance because he has a big head. <laughs> so this is how it's going to look. And I can't really see the polar bear. And it's kind of annoying me. He kind of peeks through. But uh, maybe I'll move him over. Hold on. Let's see. What if I move over this gnome? Just a pinch. There you go. You can kind of see him more, but it's kind of glared. But you can see him more. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And that's really it. So yeah. Bye guys.